You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? Fifty bucks. And the department will front me the fifty? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. What's going on, guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer, and this is L.A. Noir Part 14, and we have another DLC case now, this one being called Reefer Madness, uh, from the 19th, uh, hold on. How, what, what number is this at this point? I think it's, I think it'd be the third DLC case, I'm not sure. Do they think I made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good, the kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? Get him away. I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Here we are. So yeah, uh, there obviously there was like that whole. I I didn't I don't think it was in the it was in the fifties the whole thing with the reefer madness and all that. Uh, that propaganda bullshit, so... Get this. You know, Middle I think you can take a guess as to what this, this is gonna be crazy about. crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up... Christ! Continue with your story. <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, All right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Mike Lemon's bar. I don't remember this case very well, so I'm gonna have to rel rely back, almost entirely on just Goddamn reading facial expressions and stuff like this, because I really don't remember anything about this case. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The twenty? Sure, mm -hmm. right here. Twenty? I said. You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Well, be careful. He likes guns. How do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this cruise character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. All right, let's go do that shit. That's one heck of a Sunday. So I'm keeping an eye out for a new game I can start up. Uh, I'm thinking that Valiant Hearts is going to go ahead and die just because... Um, I'm getting a little bored with that, that game, to be totally honest, and it seems like you guys are as well. So, uh, I'm probably going to pick up another game relatively soon. It's not going to be a consistent one, but, you know, something to sure. take up time. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. Is, is that all you have to say? Loudmouth like you usually has more than that. I got a couple games up in mind at the moment that I'll start up. Once again, it's going to be classic stuff. This one's not going to be a viewer vote. It's going to be just whatever the fuck I feel like. Um, but once again, like I said, it's not going to be a consistent thing. It's going to be one that probably won't even get finished. It's just because, uh, you know, I want to fuck around and have fun.
That guy looks oddly similar to the Mendez brother who uh, was almost convicted for uh, killing Antonia. One of the murder cases. Just saying. I think it was the Golden Butterfly, to be specific. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Why the guns? Why shoot us? You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. Come on, there's gotta be something. Nothing? Alright, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter that much. I did not shoot him that many times. I shot him twice. What's that? A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. I'll just take that. It's not like he needs it anymore. Because he's dead. Alright, now let's go ahead and look at your ugly face. Ew. How bloody. Gross. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Alright, enough of the body. I need to get back to it, Phelps. We got a note here. Mass and K. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Or w would it be Masenge? I don't know. What else we got here? No, not that? Alright. Oh, it's a bottle. Doesn't matter. Well, there's a few other places I can check, it seems. I don't imagine there'd be anything uh, too important outside, but we can go ahead and check just to be sure. Actually, that looks like it could be relatively important. I doubt it. I imagine. Oh. Maybe. No. Yeah, nothing. Oh, well. That is too bad. Oh, my God. Am I going to have to do that with all these fucking things? That's going to be hell. Alright, let's get cracking. This is going to be so fucking boring. God, I'm already bored. I'm just gonna keep bitching about it. I bet it's the flower. Oh, no, that was a uh, clown. Ha! Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, fucking clown. I don't like clowns. Oh. <gasps> now we're getting somewhere. And of course, it was the last one I could I could do. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? You're really dumb. You know that. You hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. 
Alright. There's a ledger here. What am I looking With for? Dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? There's a lot of Tijuana. Can I press on Tijuana? This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Alright, I think that's probably all that's in here. So we can go back inside. There might be like one or two other things I haven't gotten to yet. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there. Well, she it. What's this? No? Doesn't matter? Fine then. This entire room doesn't seem to matter. Um. Oh, what's this? Nothing? Okay, I thought that might have been a newspaper article, but that wouldn't really make very much sense considering this is a DL DLC case. So, never mind, I rescind that. I think that's it then. Catch all the good ones, Phelps. Maybe I can check this body. No? Alright, so who do I have next? Or where do I go next? Okay, Parnell's Soup Company Factory. I think that's all. So, let's go ahead and get the fuck out of here. Shut up. Who are you? Um, actually, give me one second. No? Alright, I was thinking I might be able to get into that garage right there, but it does not appear as though... Uh, it does not appear as... Jesus Christ. Uh, it does not appear as though... Uh, that's possible, so... Yeah. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. And the Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Shit. It's your fault. You're paying for every last scratch. I'm a police officer. This is completely okay. I'm chasing a suspect. That guy. He's a suspect. It's okay, though. I'm gonna let you off with the warning. Don't worry about it. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over-seasoning the soup in this place. Huh. He's seasoning it with weed. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Yeah, I must. Please. Bitch. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. What's up, Doris? Follow me, gentlemen. Nice. Whatever the fuck that thing is on your neck. It's not a scarf, but it's, it's something. Yeah, that's how you open a door. What is going on? LAPD, sit tight, fatso. <laughs> you could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. I will take Maybe a seat. you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, chubby? We found at least 30 cans. All sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Is 
she's got big titties. I think that's what she was Any trying to display. That that rings a bell? Um, I want to say Reyes. Let's just take a little bit further of a look. Yeah, Alfon or uh, yeah, Alfonso Reyes. No. No. The fuck. Hold on. I can't fucking remember who what. Just pick that one. Let it be. Fuck it. I'm gonna just go on all of them until I get the right one. I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna keep going down. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Fuck you. If you don't like it, you can click off the video. I don't give a shit. We're gonna just keep doing this until it works. Which name rings a bell? Oh. Cruz. Familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. How would I have known that? Alright, whatever. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Hmm. I don't buy it totally. Of course, they always fucking... God damn it. Tell me what okay. I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I I'm not familiar with them all. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on? I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. Why do they always lie about menial shit? Things are made. This is gonna be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. Huh. Nice factory. Pretty small. What? I don't think so, but for some reason I feel like something's about to happen. I'm probably wrong, though. Where are you taking me? That's disgusting. Didn't you ever hear germs? This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. I don't care. 
I didn't ask to be taken on a fucking tour of the factory. Wait, did I? I can't remember. Why don't you keep quiet? I've learned something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. I wasn't really paying attention to what he asked. So maybe he did ask to uh, be taken on a field this trip to the, the hopper, factory. Which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there, on the desk. Well, let's look at the book. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. I'm guessing 15, 20 books or boxes is what you're looking 20th century market. There you go. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. it brings me luck. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Shit poker face. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here it gets sent all over the country. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No. Not me. Ooh, I th yeah, the silver dot. Yeah, there you go. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm going to break you for it. You're loco, Placa. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? One and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on. You keep your mouth shut for today and I'll take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks, I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. Okay, so I think... I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. I was gonna say, I think that the next place is, uh, what, 20th Century Market? Yeah. So here we are. Where's the car? 
It's over there? Cool. Light jog. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you ask Roas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. This car cost me a fortune, you moron! Yeah, well... Why are you letting me drive it? Like, seriously, I drive this car more often than you do. I might as well just take it home at this point. Like, really. I've damaged it multiple times, and you constantly pay to repair it. Seems like it's really just a liability for you to even have this car. You're never driving it, and you're always paying for the repairs. I'm constantly getting into wrecks, like right here. Never mind. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Chances. That's probably not a good idea. You are not very fast, sir. You didn't get more than a hundred feet away before I caught your stupid ass. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. Huh, <laughs> that's funny. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. I'll take that. Or not. Gets it stuck in there. Maybe there's some bubble gum inside his wallet. Attached to the, gun, uh, the money. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. What are we... Uh, fucking... Like, are we, are we a lyricist now? What the hell is that? Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run this shop. That's all I do. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The silver dollar. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. 
please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. The real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. You could just not arrest him. Just an idea, perhaps. I mean, if, if you really want to talk about the best you can do. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let them unload the goods first. Now? Let's get him. You're fucked now, buddy. I have a feeling there's gonna be some weapons. All right, move. So I should probably move. get a gun. Let's go! Give me a second, I'm trying to choose. Let's go with the shotgun. Alright. Everyone into position. I'm going upstairs, fuck you. I ain't stupid. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead, you cover up. Perimeter is up, the whole place is contained. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Throw out the guns. Oh shit. There's a lot of these fuckers. Damn! You're really stupid. You deserve to die. Fuck, I can't get that guy. I don't know how the shotgun has that kind of range, but I'll take it. Fuck. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. I'm not, I'm not pulling my weight here. I'm not killing enough of these fuckers. Oh, shit. I got one of them. Okay. just what I Eat a dick. Ah, uh, there's one. Real clever asshole. I'm gonna fuck. Ah! 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 What were you gonna? What were you gonna do? What was that? You you say you're gonna do something? Oh shit! How long do you think you can hold out? Fuck! All right, I gotta be closer. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. 
nobody else seems to want to help me here, so I gotta do this on my own. Oh shit. You're surrounded, and your buddies are dead. Fuck me. Alright, just kill this guy back here. What the fuck? There, that works. Now, this guy. You. Dead. Oh, it's that dude. All clear? I think that's the last call. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. Jesus Christ, we killed a lot of people. Another silver dollar. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Who's this guy? you want to address, we should see what the Federales have on him. What's this? I think that's, uh, what's the word? Foreshadowing, sort of. I might, I might be wrong about that. No, nope, alright. I think that's it. What else is there? I suspect God nothing. Damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Oh shit. At the very minimum another 50 pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. You gonna lead me to him? Where are we going? <sighs> can't you just, like, can't I just be there immediately? Why is he holding this? Must be a thousand dollars here. When he, he's in, like, a gunfight? It seems very counterproductive. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl, looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. I already know. Those are Morgan silver dollars from the no. 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? I already know. I can tell. Oh, hold on. No, I can't. God damn it. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Oh, I gotcha. I know. Never mind. All right, Matt, because Mass and K, I remember that at the beginning, so. And I'm guessing that spells metals. Yeah, Mass and K metals. The first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mass and K metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna get to shoot more people. Yeah. Yay, violence. Holy fucking shit, it is hot in my room. 
It feels, it legitimately feels like it's 90 degrees in here. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Locked. We need another way in. I could just drive through it. Nope, that's not an option, evidently. Fuck logic. Christ alive, this is a nightmare! I think I found my way, though. That's convenient. Yep, that'll work. I don't know, for some reason I feel like going in through the back is actually not gonna work. Oh, for the back door, right? Okay, maybe I was wrong. You win one more hand, Andy. I'm taking my money and going home. And fuck whose turn it is to mine shop. Hey, what can I say? I got lucky. Hey, throw out the, the guns. Up, oh, they see me. <laughs> Big mistake, pussies. Down. What now? Like I thought that would be it. Is there more? You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Weapons on the ground now. I just almost killed my partner. Oh shit. Move, Roy. Yeah, just. Whoa, holy shit. Wait, hold on a sec. Where? Where is this person? Oh, shit. Everybody keeps shooting at Roy. I'm totally fine with that. Just saying it's not exactly the best idea. I'm the one with the automatic weapon. I know he's stupid and running all over the place, but... Move, I've got you. Shit. I, mean, I think, really, there's more people. Oh, all right. You do it. Or I will. LAPD, hands up! Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. 
Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Osakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! <laughs> 